Curious George Makes Pancakes by Margaret and H. A. Race. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One morning, the man with the yellow hat woke George early. Time to get up, George, he said. The pancake breakfast is today. George loved the pancake breakfast. It was a fundraiser held every year to make money for special programs at the children's hospital. Besides eating pancakes, there were all kinds of games to play. Even the mayor came to play and eat, but first he gave a welcome speech. Thank you all for coming, the mayor said. We appreciate your generous support. He thanked all the volunteers who were helping that day, and finally he said, please enjoy yourselves and the pancakes. When the mayor finished, the man with the yellow hat said, George, I'm going to go buy our tickets. Please wait here and don't be too curious. George waited like a good little monkey, but mm, something smelled good. Could it be the pancakes? George was so curious. He followed the delicious smell and found a whole griddle of pancakes. Do you see this thing right here? This is a griddle. A griddle is a hot surface, a hot flat surface that can make foods. George watched as a man poured little batter circles and flipped them up into the air. George wanted to help. On a table near the griddle was a basket full of blueberries. Hmm, these pancakes need blueberries, George thought, and he sprinkled some on top. Hmm, do you think this was a good idea or a not so good idea? Let's keep reading to see. Meanwhile, the man at the griddle was so busy, he didn't notice the little monkey helping him. But the line grew and grew. Wow, look what he's doing with the pancakes. What is this? Did you say happy face? George's pancakes were a hit. Soon everyone wanted them, and the man could not keep up. Please wait, he said to someone holding an empty plate. I need to find an assistant to help me. And just like that, he was gone. George looked at the people waiting in line, and then at the empty griddle. Why, hmm, he could make pancakes. He could be the assistant. George poured the batter into nice round circles. Next, he added blueberries. He waited just a minute to let the pancakes cook. Then he flipped them over. And last, he added syrup. Mm. Do you notice the words that are used on this page? So they use the word next. And they use the word last. This lets us know that they're doing something in a sequence or in an order. So first, he poured the batter. Next, he added blueberries. Oh, and I forgot a word. Here it is. Then he flipped them over. And last, he added syrup. These are words that we use when we're retelling a story. They're using these words to retell how George made his pancakes. The line for pancakes was enormous, but with four hands, George was quite a chef, and no one's plate was empty for long. Wow, look how fast he's moving. I've been coming to the pancake breakfast for years, a man said but I've never seen pancakes made like this before. I've never eaten this many pancakes before, said a girl. I don't even like pancakes before, said another girl. And they all lined up 
for more. You see a man taking out his money and this sign says, yummy pancakes for a dollar. So now we know they had to pay money for those pancakes. When the man returned with his new assistant, he was shocked to see a monkey making pancakes. This is no place for a monkey, he yelled, and he began to chase George. George hadn't meant to cause so much trouble. He'd only wanted to help. Now he only wanted to get away quickly. George found a place to hide, and the man and his assistant ran right by. But George, where did he go? Hmm, do you see George? When it was safe to come out, George jumped out. He was covered in syrup like a pancake, and he was sticking to everything. George was curious. Could these napkins help him get clean? What do you think? You can pause this story and tell someone next to you, what do you think is going to happen when George uses all these napkins to clean himself? Oh, did you think that this was going to happen? Nope. The napkins only made it worse. What George needed was some water to wash with. Why, here's the perfect thing. George climbed in. Do you know what this is? And I'm sorry, that says George climbed up. This will do the trick for a sticky monkey. George sat on the bench and splashed himself with water. But all of a sudden, hmm, what do you think? What did George climb into? What's going to happen next? You can pause this and tell someone next to you if you'd like. Splash! George was in the water. What a surprise. George climbed up again and splashed back down. He'd never been in a dunk tank before, and he never had so much fun getting clean. Soon, everyone was having fun, and the line at the dunk tank grew even longer than the line for pancakes. Later, the, the mayor came by. I've heard all about your delicious pancakes, he said. You've made our fundraiser a big success, and I have a special favor to ask you. And here's the governor, sorry, the mayor, talking to George while he's in the dunk tank. At the end of the day, George got to present the money from the fundraiser to the president of the hospital. Thanks to you, George. This has been our best year ever, she said. Will you come back and make pancakes again next year? George nodded and everyone cheered. Hooray for George! Hey! Did you like that story? Later on this week, we're going to write about what we thought about this story. So make sure you remember it and go back to it. If you need to, you can listen to it again because on Friday, you are going to meet with me and we're gonna write some sentences about it. All right, see you then.